So hello guys welcome back to the channel in this video we'll cover another amazing lab that is tensorflow dataset api so first of all click on start lab now just open the cloud console incognito window like this now here in my case it is getting signed in automatically sometimes you may be asked to enter the username password for that always check the lab instructions now here click on i understand and then click on i agree and agree and continue now from the navigation menu we have to select vertex ci and open the workbench so basically here we have to complete create a workbench clone the repo and test our tasks here first of all enable the notebooks api and remove this unwanted pop-up now once the api is enabled we have to create a workbench so how we'll create the workbench you have to just come here click on new instance on the top so many times here multiple things are there like user managed networks i will show you in this upcoming part only but you have to only select instance and click on new instance now here you have to update the name and region and zone so copy the name from here basically from the task number one so copy it like this make sure there is no extra space or dot now for the region and zone you have to select the region as per lab instruction and here we have multiple zone so for my lab we have us west for a so i will select a in case if it is b you have to select b now click on continue and create now it will take few more minutes to create meanwhile in case you haven't subscribed the channel do subscribe it and like the video i was talking about this only instance future managed and managed networks so basically as per the lab instruction you have to click on the instance and then click on create team so i hope it clears your doubt many times what happens the files are not properly loaded on the workbench so for that you have to just select this workbench and on the top a reset button will be showing you have to reset it and then open the jupyter lab again so let's wait till the jupyter lab is ready so now click on open the jupyter lab now it will open so sometimes what happens you get unnecessary error or the page fails to load what you have to do you have to close this window and come back to the workbench page and open the jupyter lab again you can refresh also or reload the browser and let's wait till the jupyter lab gets opened here finally the page is open now in the description box of this video i have shared one github repository you will be using it so first of all open python 3 notebook here you have to just clone it so just copy it and just paste over here and click on it now it will take some time now here you might see that the github repo name was different actually it was a glitch but i have fixed it and in the description box i have shared the correct github repo so you can check it now wait till it gets completed now finally you can see it's showing done now we have to just open the file as you can see all files have been done now just we have to open the file which we'll be using so for that what you need to do is come over here click on training data analyst go to courses and from here which one we have to open we have to open machine learning so let me check the lab once again which one we have to open because they update periodically so here you can see it's machine learning and deep dive 2 so you can see here here is the machine learning click on it now deep dive 2 now here it will be introduction to tensorflow so you have to just click on it click over it and from here click on the labs now open this to datasheet api file so just click on this to data set api now you have to select 
TensorFlow 211. Now, first of all, open the terminal like this. Now, the GitHub repo again. Now, copy the second command. Come back here on the terminal, just paste over here like this. Now, wait for the dataset API file to get updated. Initially, you won't be able to see this if you are able to, if you are clicking on it. Wait for the file to get updated. So you need to wait basically. Now again, click on it. So finally, the file has been updated. Now you have to select a kernel. For this lab, we have to select Python 3s kernel first of all. Sorry, to TensorFlow 2-11. We have to select and wait for the kernel to get connected. Once it shows idle, you have to click over here, run selected cells and all below. Now it will take 2 to 3 minutes and after that we will be done with the lab. Meanwhile, for the labs you can comment down below. Also check the challenge, uh, sorry, channel for more and do like the video and share the videos with your community members. So it's currently working. it may take four to five minutes and finally we can see that the tensorflow is now idle so basically what you need to do you need to come back to the lab instruction and check the score for all the tasks and if you follow the way i have done in this lab you will definitely get the score without any issue and that's the way we have to complete this lab finally we are done with the lab do like the video and subscribe the channel bye